it's quite a uh, narrow bit of cove, actually. Um, like, it kind of quickly transitions from the swamp plan, which is, honestly, you can tell by all bits, this area of swamp here is not buildable on. Yeah. But you couldn't even try building, like, one of the tall huts on it. It would, the, 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 the ground here does not support it. Not at all. Yeah. That's fine. The cove, though, is not, there's not particularly a lot of land around the cove. Interestingly. Oh, is it, like, built out across the water? Well, yes. Ah, oh, yes, cool. Is. That's cool. Um, as it's, you can see a variety of huts essentially built out on a jetty on the water with boats surrounding them. Cool. Be a nightmare if you're afraid of water, but cool. Hi, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a no from him. Well, I mean, I just, I'm sure he can manage it. He probably could, he doesn't want to. <laughs> If she has time, she'll go down into the village and have a look around, see what they're like, see what what the people are like there. You know, the term village tourist also, stuff. Yeah, the term village may also be slightly uh, pushing it, but... It's, it's more like a talking. hamlet. Yeah, at best. Um, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, she, she can totally do tourist stuff in a hamlet shortly before she gets driven out by torches and pitchforks. Nah, just the hunters coming after coming after you for being a, for for being uh, lunch. Oh, let them try. I'm pretty sure she can take a hunter. What about a group of hunters? Probably, unless they're like Adeline. Probably, probably. Yes, everyone, everyone in this hamlet is minimum level nine. Yes. <laughs> oh, that that newborn baby over there. Uh, he's the exception. He's only level eight. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give them time to build up those levels. Yeah. Oh, it's all a bit of a new screen there. Is it being is it being silly? It's probably being silly. Probably, but oh well. Do I see the um elf teenager, half elf teenager that I saw before on here? Uh, you can you can take make a perception check. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah, it's a dramatically different environment though. Herb. Yes. <laughs> also, if anyone afraid of heights and water. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, Kelis doesn't like water, but she's not afraid of it. She's afraid of nothing. You can kind of look around. If you can spot him um, on a section of kind of the rigging netting that's kind of high up connecting two buildings. He's probably like 35, 40 feet off the ground up there on that netting. But you can see him just hanging out in there like it's a hammock. Uh, would it be possible for me to sneak up the netting without him seeing me? That would require a very difficult stealth check. You know because what, you might move you know the netting, what? but you could do it. You know what? I, I have key to burn right now. I mean, invisibility doesn't help the fact you'd be moving the netting. No, but the netting might move, but you won't see me at least. He'll, he'll see the rigging move, but either way, that's with invisibility bonus. So without that, that would still be a 33. Jeez. Kelvis, what is with you today? He's essentially going to try and climb up behind him, and then sort of casually quote-unquote lean on the rigging and just be like hey you made it back then as she puffs back into existence behind him or next to him she's ready to catch him if he falls he does suddenly look very startled in place um <laughs> briefly getting tangled up in the rigging instead yeah <laughs> she just laughs at that kind of glares at you for a moment sticks her tongue out at him uh, you're not the only one with, with your little tricks to have fun. You see him weave magic in front of you. He sees Kelvis do the same. Oh boy, mage battle time. I mean, not exactly. Her spells are purely defensive or utility, and she can only do two of them. <laughs> <laughs> but she does have cantrips she can do. None of them are, are offensive, but she can do cantrips. And he weaves his magic and Kelvis... Mm -hmm. Oh no. The what? worst fate of them all. <gasps> he chooses to use precipitation to make your clothes look spoiled. Covered in dirt. She looks entirely unfazed by this, considering she just spent the last hour falling through uh, briar bushes every 60 feet. It would have been a bigger shock if he cleaned them. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, he cleaned them instead. <laughs> but oh. 
Thanks. Thanks. Including all of Karos, including all of Karos's cat makeup. I mean, she wasn't currently wearing any. She's not been disguised recently. You even see some of your spots disappear. Now that's just rude. He kind of looks back at you. <laughs> what kind of magic are you casting now? Um, you're casting something. Yes, I I was. Hmm. What what magic am I casting? <laughs> Basically comes down to either Mage Hand or Dancing Lights. She, she was basically just showing that she can do magic as well. Oh, Brian said your caster levels are close enough. So. <laughs> yes, we're both first level casters. But I can do invisibility. Yeah. Doesn't matter that it's not a spell. What does characters have bought casting? <laughs> yeah, she she basically just aborts. She, she was... She wasn't really wanting to cast something exactly, it was just showing that she can cast. Whatever cantrip you were casting fizzles in your hand then. Yeah. She just sort of casually shrugs. Well, gotta say, you kind of oversold the whole village aspect of here, but it looks homely enough. It's home. Yeah. There's nothing wrong, wrong with that. Just I'm oh, from yeah. the mainland, oh, no. and villages are more than, like, Eight buildings normally, but like I say, homely. We've got a few more. I'm um, gonna point to over, over an area off to the side. <laughs> the couple of buildings oh, hidden behind the other ones. <laughs> it can also come like off camera, just behind the camera. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, we make do out here. We're not. We're not like the big fan. We're not like the big fancy towns and the palace. Hey, hey, hey! There is nothing wrong with homely. A lot of people would kill for a life like this. Oh, so it's your move. He points at your fur. As you suddenly see, is he trying to also cross his board on you? She just sighs softly. No. Shrug. She does, like, pull a bit of jerky out of her pack and munch on it as they chat. As Has Karis ever been in a hammock before? Probably... Probably on like one of the ships she's travelled on before. Probably had hammocks. Yeah, hammocks. yeah there was. Still... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, look, there's also hammock-like things on the ship you even sailed over here on, in theory. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if she'd been on one. If she's not been on one, she's certainly seen them before. And she and she comfortably sits at forty feet above the ground. <laughs> yeah, not for the first time. So, come out here for any particular reason? Yeah. Mostly to annoy you. Sort of grins. But no. We were heading to one of the shrines just over points that way. And figured it was kind of close, so I thought I'd come and have a look. Like I said I would. And then I saw you was that, and it's like Was well, I was I was I that was I like that charming when we last met? <laughs> the kid grinned. Well, let's just say you made sure I'd remember you. She grins as well. Whether he wants to choose that's because he's charming or not is entirely up to him. Yeah, there aren't many out of many of us out here. No. But we get no. by farming, fishing. Yeah, and it's she sort of looks around. A whole lot calmer than the big cities. Do you ever go to the mainland land cities like Helgas, places like that? Oh my goodness, you cannot hear yourself think for so many people. I was just double checking for a moment. What kind of languages does Karos know? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, where's it gone? Uh, cat folk, dwarven, draconic, celestial, and thieves cant. Mm. I just came to a realization actually with the conversation. Most of this conversation might actually be going on in draconic, of all things. Huh? Well, language of magic. Kid does not know common. <laughs> he, lives, he lives out in the boonies on a secluded island. Yeah, that that does make sense. He'd know the local language, not common. Mm -hmm. And he, if you spoke Sylvan, he would just speak that with you because that's a local language. Yeah, sadly, no. Um, and of course, he speaks Draconic because he's been a studying mage. But yeah, though so, okay, he also hear some conversations going on that she cannot follow in the distance, like different people down, like down below. Yeah, as long as they're not like angry, raised voices directed at her, she's cool with it. There might be angry voices at each other, but not at you. Yeah. 
as even while she's talking, radar ears are just flicking back and forth, following various noises, making sure nothing's going to come and murder her. Yeah, nothing really happens out here, though. Boring. I guess that's why you go out into the swamp so often. Pretty little, much. A little bit of adventure. Play paint the spot on the tigers. <laughs> or remove them, as the case may be, as she looks down at several of her missing spots. You said you know, you said you know, your entire body's not striped. Yeah, I mean, I've been a tiger before. It's... I prefer spots over stripes. It makes you a checker pattern instead. That's a new one. I haven't thought of going checkers before. I don't think cats normally do. No, that's the problem. It's a bit too exotic. It would draw a bit too much attention. Because all this pushing attention, you basically just even try touching, even try like rubbing your finger on it slightly, all disappears. <laughs> yeah, that's the other issue. I tend to like my spots to stick around a bit longer. I mean, I, I, mean, I thought you would object if I tried using strong magic on you. It wouldn't be the first time, uh, but I wouldn't advise it. So many people somewhere around here are so easy to fool. Just a, just a couple, just a couple of small spells, and everyone, you know, tricking people's easy. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what the hell you were doing at the shrine before I knew it was you there, but I've been around a bit. I've seen a lot of different magic, even though I don't understand most of it. I've seen a lot of it. I mean, I don't get a lot of it. I, I know the basics. And the basics are something to build on. You, you suddenly hear the sound of a roaring tiger next to you. Very quietly. Roaring tiger. She blinks a couple of times. Ghost sound. Yep. Classic. <laughs> now, did she actually see him cast that, or did it just sort of happen? You saw him raise a hand up. You didn't see him say anything. You didn't hear him say anything. You just saw him raise a hand up and make motions in the air. Hmm. Kind of impressive that, you know, he didn't actually make any noise there. What do you mean? Well, most people, when they make spells, they sort of do the whole chanting thing as well as the wavy hand thing. Oh, you mean like he starts to... He's, he he goes ahead and yeah, you know, dramatic in an overly dramatic voice starts chanting out stuff for magic. Yeah, and cast dancing like that. Yeah. yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> That's boring. I would never one sees it. It is rather um, obvious. But I, from what I understand, it usually takes a lot of practice to be able to do that without making the whole over the top gestures and shouting. I mean, I have to for most of my spells still. Ah, uh, right. Still kind of cool that you don't for some. Yeah. And you'll hang out there. Move all the way back to the other scene. Just, just quick before it pans away. Oh, pans away. Um, yeah. At some point, probably just as Kellis is leaving the kid, you will offer him a candy. I'd like a, hey, cheers for hanging out here. Have a treat. I'm looking very confused about what it is when you offer it out. It's... It's a sweet. It's sugary and tasty and nice. Karis can proceed. Karis can proceed to have a conversation about how the fact that, like, that stuff's super expensive. At least by the fact that their economy is entirely on coppers. Yeah, benefit of of putting my life in danger regularly. I get a bit of disposable income. The point is, does he eat it? Eventually. When he does so, his hair turns bright pastel yellow. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was my last one of them. <laughs> Adeline! <laughs> You're going to be on a guided tour around the garden. Hooray! Um, with the young prince explain, ask, answering any questions you might have about any of the plants. Cool. In a surprising amount of detail. Mm. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's a walking plantopedia. Hazel's going to ask some really strange questions. Like? Whatever a 27 gardening can get you. Are you, just trying, are you just trying to trick him out on something? Hazel's just trying to see where, how far his knowledge goes. Well, he definitely, seems, he definitely seems to know every single plant in this entire garden. 
of Hans, which is pretty good. Yeah, I don't. Hazel probably doesn't, because she just never would have been exposed to him. And the medicinal property of most of these plants. If, you know, if they have medicinal properties. And also can identify where it comes from. Hmm. And the best climate for it to grow in. Actually, it's really detailed what he knows. Do you know its name? I mean, he names the species! Do you? Well, each plant has a name. I already said its name. Uh, each plant. Like every human. Every other thing. Well, I don't name all the plants like that. Well, of course you don't. He looks confused at you. It's it really really hard for it's... mortals to hear, so... He just nods for a moment. Like, politely agreeing, despite not knowing what you're saying. All the plants here speak highly of you. Um, I guess that's, a, that's good to know. Thank you. They just wish they could tell you themselves. Hazel, doing her weird way of trying to cheer him up. <laughs> it's like, you're appreciated by plants. They're nice. <laughs> they return your love. Mm -hmm. All you need is plant. But she also will follow along, being very interested as well. She'll almost... You you guys will probably want to call out to her to make her not walk into a tree, but then she just walks through it. <laughs> the prince didn't say a, say a thing about it, just let you do it. Mm -hmm. You don't know you don't know if he was hoping you'd bash into the tree, or knew you'd pass straight through the tree, but... One of those two. I will also mention that Hazel does have a green sight, so no plants can hide... She can see through plants perfectly fine. Is there anything that this garden is, like, concealing with foliage or something like that? Concealing with foliage? Yeah. Hmm. Or the foliage is concealing. I don't know how far green sight extends to. Like, I well, don't know. Unless it specifies a range, technically indefinitely. No, it does specify a range of 60 feet, but I don't know what extent green sight functions as. I don't know if I could see a dryad sitting inside a tree, per se. I would say no. Because <laughs> technically that's not foliage. You're seeing through leaves, not it's, the wood. It's plant. Not, it, it is just plant. But since she has melded with the plant, she is plant. That's fair. So, I don't know. But, yeah, you're, I mean, looking around, there's nothing immediately stands out to you as hidden. Um, by any of the foliage. Um, the only thing that does stand out to you um, is you do eventually notice what appears to be a very old mural hidden by, behind, behind a bunch of vines. You didn't even know it was there, you just saw vines and it's like, oh wait, yeah. I can see right through that. Which seems to depict... Um, well... Hmm. What does it depict? Can I get Linguistics? Yes. Ugh. I guess. I'm not you can try. She has a point in it, but isn't try but it doesn't sound class skill. Um there are some very pretty pictures depicting something. I mean, she speaks Sylvan Common Treant uh Aran. There are very pretty pictures depicting something to do with clouds and a person and... Mm -hmm. uh, she'll tuck on the prince's shirt. Mm -hmm. What's this? She points at a bunch of the wall of vines. She starts naming up the information about the vines. No, 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 no. This. She waves a hand and a bunch of motes of light come out and the plant, the vines react to her and they sort of drift and move off to the side, revealing the mural underneath. Oh. It's one of a few rune stones around the island. And they tell stories of the ancient past. He kind of goes up to it and starts tracing his fingers along some of, some of the old runes. Do you understand? The mirror that is. In remembrance of the of the storm queens of the sea, she who may ride and she who may fall, but she whose presence shall spread across the land, with her with her power unbeknownst, and her ship at her side, even the clouds feared her arrival. <laughs> it's a mural to. One of the storm, well, they used to be called storm riders a long time ago. What is that? Mm. Sounds cool. Supposedly, Sounds cool. supposedly, according to the stories, they were people who were able to 
take a normal ship and with just the power of the wind and air make it essentially essentially sail through the sky. Hmm. In particular, this this one appears to have been a pirate. But well, I want to do that. I met a nice boat once. I wonder if they would want to do that. He completely blanked that comment. <laughs> How's Adeline feeling? Interesting. She she likes these old stories, and I'm certain she's heard them a few times herself. When she was younger. You have. Um, I mean, I mean, I think the idea of being a sky pirate is certainly something many kids on this island should. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think yeah, I think it's been fifty years, and now I can actually be one of those if I wanted to. Ah, uh, well. Well, I think at least be a regular pirate. She can, but she can also fly, so she can technically be a sky pirate. It's true. It's just your ship is not particularly very sky worthy. Yes. Don't have a ship. It will just be me. Meanwhile, Meanwhile. you will like sky sky raider then. Yeah. There you go. Can uh, Hazel tell if this person's a kineticist or what's going on with this? The mural. The kid. Ah. How was how was she trying to find that out? She's just been sort of getting closer, and now she's probably standing in like an awkward range of closeness and just trying to tell. <laughs> she's uh, trying to judge like where his power comes from and trying to figure out what she can feel. Yeah. If she has to, she can probably just. Poke him. I mean, I <laughs> stare. She doesn't have any abilities to help her with this, does she? She's got the ability to detect magic items like uh, her mother does, but she doesn't have like aura sight or things like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, she has an appropriate skill check. She can try to roll and see if she could figure it out. Sure. Hmm. Ha- like try to figure out how she's going to figure this information out. <laughs> She can sort of move and manipulate life force. She's primarily a healing kineticist, essentially. So she's going to roll heal to see how energy sort of just tell how energies are flowing through. Sure. This does also probably mean that there's the occasional weird orb of light that occasionally floats past him or through him. As it seems that Hazel's kind of kicked up a big sprite party and has a bunch of little orbs of light floating around behind her. Occasionally, weave in and out of her wings, and it's odd in many regards. But I mean, you could see some similarities between like what the senses you're getting and like the idea of a kineticist. Most likely, would be like something like an aura kineticist in that case, probably. Mm. But the elemental tying's not really there in the same way. It's not just tied air or water or it's not quite there. Moreover, you hardly see any traces of like that kind of the burn, I suppose, right? Because whenever you think of a connection, you think of like that kind of burn, you know, of the burn of them kind of pushing themselves physically and energy being overwhelming. There's none of that. You don't like it's. It would almost be more instead of the internally the connecting. It's the not gathering power from within, it's gathering power from without. Hmm. To call power from the world, instead of calling power from within. That seems to really interest her as she sort of thinks of that idea, and sort of leans in a little bit close, and kind of squints, trying to figure this out. And then she realizes she's being awkward and pulls away. The prince is just staring at you right now. Just a complete dead stare. Sorry, your magic's weird. Adeline, how are you doing meanwhile? Watching them. Sorry, his magic's weird. Aspen also she doesn't like spiders. Don't. Aspen sort of pouts as he you, you hear him drop something. Yeah, I I don't think I would actually be able to see that. Yeah, not easily. Yeah, don't worry. I was ready to move. Either way, a lot apparently a lot of the people you you look at has weird magic. Second born have weird magic. Are you certain it's not you? Aren't we a lot more numerous than you? So wouldn't that make... Yeah, wouldn't that make you guys the exception? You, uh, weirdness is based on perception. I see you as weird, unless you're weird. That's weird. You're weird. Yes. 
has been weird. Yes, we know. Well then, hmm. Uh, he's. Um, why, why don't you just work? ask him? He's right here. You don't have to. Can you do this? Uh, uh, Hazel place, places her hands together and then pulls them apart and does gather energy in this massive cacophony of light and wind and Hazel. plant life and light strikes between her hands. Hazel. I, mean, I know that's what you do, but that's really loud. How about you what? Mean, how about you? What? Oh, sorry. Uh, Hazel just sort of releases it and it shoots Adelaide and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> ah, dear. Okay, sorry. It's loud. Couldn't hear you. He kind of tilted his head slightly. Perhaps you would like to see at some point our song in action? Hazel just nods. Kind of briefly looks over to Adeline as well. Sure. I always like hearing it. Aspen, see, listen. never get old of it, even after seven years of knowing it. It'll be my turn to perform it tomorrow morning, if you're interested. Oh, cool. If you are able to come up here first thing. Hazel nods. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Amaya and Cadme. Do -ba do do I think it's uh, over here. You find a, you find a tremendously old-looking oak tree. I mean, if I was the dryad, I would live in there. Hmm, it would make sense. Ah. But you're not a dryad, are you? Says a dryad standing on top of the branches of the tree. No, I'm not. But I can, I can generally get an idea. Is this a dryad that I'm familiar with? There, there. Hey. Aren't you the one who's hiding inside that little castle? What do you What do you bring what brings you here? You might call it travel. I might call it travel, but I also know the habits of the dryad. I understand it's rather unconventional for us, but well As you see another dryad that looks almost identical step out from another branch. Oh hello. Wait a minute. Sisters? And in unison. What do you think? Uh, either you can appear in multiple places at once, or your sisters. <laughs> they both nod. Yes, we're sisters. Ah, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. It's very complicated to be in multiple places at once. I already can barely handle this one. This one location. Oof, that would be rough. Oh, uh, hi. Um... Yeah, I, you already know me, but this is Amaya. You haven't met her. And this is Amaya's mate, and this is the gardener. But you've probably already know of him. Um, one of the dryads uh, blow a kiss over towards towards the gardener. Who you send some enchanting magic fly past you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't intercept anyway. It's fine. As the gardener just kind of gets this glassy eyed look, and you've got like you're probably not gonna remember this. Ah, uh, how have you been, though? Well, the second born cut down my tree. Oh. Why, Why would they do that? I don't know. I don't understand the second born. Hmm. <sighs> well, I suppose I can bring you good news. Um, Which is? The persons you were so afraid of returning. Why well, you brought yourself to hide there in the first place. Um... I met them in combat and have defeated them once. However, many of them got away and I'm still working on it. So you've made them angrier. Good job. Yes, but they're angry at me. So a lot of their resources are pointed at me, at least. Or they'll attack, or they'll attack all of us to get to you. Well, I doubt that. He already has a plan, eh, from what I gather. And it's not based on other... She does not look convinced. My point is, is that I'm. I understand why you were afraid, but I also want you to understand that I can actually beat them, and you can keep holding on to your fear. But ideally, I would like it so you wouldn't have to anymore. So I'm working on that. As uh, one of the dryads um, jumps down, though, it's hard to t it's hard to keep track of the two. In fairness, mm -hmm. the grass below almost seemingly like raising to like catch her. As they walk towards Maya and um Fiona. Yes, Fiona. My my brain blanked there for a moment. I gotcha. Put yeah. out the tokens out. Kind of look at the two of them. 
Can I help you? You're cute. <laughs> Fiona looks very defensive all of a sudden. Thank you for the compliment, but I'm afraid I uh, already belong with um Amaya kind of just wraps her arm around Fiona comfortingly to this level. Oh, I don't mind though. I'm still quite pretty. Actually, mm. she's not bad either. Mm. Mm. Sis, stop it. As you're being as seductively, the, the dryad looks at both of you. Gabby doesn't care. Although, do tell me, um, I'm not terribly familiar with dryads. You say you are sisters. I was unaware that dryads could have sisters. Hmm. Sisters not in the same way you know it. Hmm. We don't have the same parents. We don't really have parents. Not the same. Not in that way. They kind of look at each other like, no, you tell them, no, you tell them, no, you tell them. I will look to the one that didn't proposition her and ask him, would you explain? We are fey creatures of the forest. We are born of the fame. We exist in the fey. And occasionally we blossom from it. Just on rare occasions. No, no, not that rare, but it happens. That when a dryad blossoms, sometimes there'll be two that blossom at the same time. Mm. We both we we both awoke in the same grove at the same time. More can happen at the same time, but those are extremely rare. The other, the other one, the, the other one is now making seducing comments towards Fiona. Why is just going to mostly seemingly ignore it, except for just pulling it closer, just kind of as a passive? No, this is mine. <laughs> the dry does not mind. You have both of you if it's if you're okay with it. Nevertheless, um, I. Did admit I, I thought a lot about that conversation we had that many many days many months long time long time, um. And I know you think I couldn't do it and I was a bit foolhardy for trying, but I've already kind of succeeded. The dune of my forest and a powerful unsea leaf near our area where we where I have set up a domain work together to help us out in defeating them. It is possible. It's just a bit complicated. We don't need complicated right now. I understand. There's a lot going on in this island, and with your tree cut down, I'm sure you're a bit frazzled. Just a bit. Though, frankly, I knew my sister had much here. I... I'm going to go talk to the humans when I get back to the mainland. I'm dreadfully curious about why they would do this. You can't believe their lies. They'll never tell you the truth. No, but I am talented enough to be able to see through them. Yes, it is a terrible shame and indeed a crime that they would destroy your home. Especially since I... <sighs> never mind. It's a conversation I need to have. I... I doubt anything good will come of it, but it's still something I wish to know the answer to. I seemed friendly enough. However, you... I am here mostly on a bit of a personal quest. Uh, a bit of a pilgrimage, if you would. I was wondering if you could give me a little bit of information about what could be going... Uh, what else could be frazzled on this island? As it seems... This is a very lively island with spiritual energies and very homely, but it seems a bit... What's the word? Dense? There's not much room to breathe in some locations. In more than one way, actually. Spiritually, there's a lot of us on this island that always has been we've been drawn here. Not that we know why. But everyone can agree they feel like a pause brought, brought them here. But then the air is dense, and oh, and frequently the small patches where people live are quite dense as well, and with large areas of nothing between. Something's pulling you here from the mainland, I think. 
uh, a lot of the spirits I've seen on the mainland that are there are very sleepy, um, not very active. And everything here is very active, but anxious? I think something did call us here for reasons, just maybe protection? Maybe they know something I don't. The two try and look at each other, then just go silent. Even the one being, being seducing looks kind of worried for a moment. Hmm. There are some second born here who we think mm, are causing issue. Oh, uh, the ones that kind of follow that, that far short big demon thingy? They've been making the mist thicker each time it appears. Hmm. They kind of pause for a brief moment. They seek to usurp the skies. Hmm. By what? Choking it out with mist? We do not know how. But they do seek to take back the skies, and when they do, I fear that we will not be in the same position we are now. This place, <laughs> this place is protected. The mists that guide it protect it. The clouds, the storms, the darkness outside, I almost cannot get in, as it repels them, blows it all away. But if the darkness has control of that wind... They can bring it all in. Like seeds blown in the wind. Cared to new places where they can take root. <sighs> you, you tell me if you know. Um, is there a place where these dark mists are more frequent? Is there a place where this is coming from that you're aware of? A place, no. We we rarely venture outside of the immediate grounds of this garden. That said, we have seen those bearing the mark following in here. They stalked these gardens. Keeping an eye out. Are yeah, there any in the garden now? They both look to each other and pause for a moment. You see, you see some vines reaching out from each of them. I was as feelers for a moment. Not that we can sense. Academy holds out a hand. Dry just looks at you. Think about the uh, people you saw. You take my hand. I think she wishes to share a memory. You may. This may be uncomfortable for you. She gives you her hand. It's fine. I have been uncomfortable before. Catering will cast share memory, whatever uh, that. Oh boy, it's quite a memory. Oh boy. <laughs> Not because it's powerful, but because there's a lot of information at once for Cadme. You see, some of the plants in here have grown rather connected to each other. The mycelium and the roots and such. Which is great and all. It means the plants share resources. It means a lot of them stay quite healthy. Do you know what else that means? Dryad sees all. Yeah, as the dryads are looking through the trees, you're not your eyes aren't in one place. It's like you now have eighty sets of eyes throughout the forest, out, throughout the. Uh, not, not something can be accustomed to. No, I'm used to having eyes in different locations, not in multiple locations. Seeing a multitude of scenes at once, but can we think she can make it out what she's looking for? As you end up seeing what appears to be um, a few individuals which you recognise to be the, um, well, you saw them previously on stage, the prince and the, the two of the princesses, sorry, walking through the garden. And this kind of shadowy figure kind of moving behind them. The way they're darting between the trees reminds you almost of Kelris in some regards. Hmm. Ninja. Kind of hard to keep track of them, but. They do seem to be kind of stalking after them quietly, studying and observing. Hmm. Can I make out any details out of it? Not really. It's odd, but for some reason, when you're looking at them, you can't make out words to describe them. Hmm. Like, you can roughly say they're kind of a, they're like a humanoid who's like, I don't know, like five foot ten. Um, probably male. For some reason, you just like it's really hard for you to put definitive words on anything, though. No, oh, they're using one of those cloaky things. Because you do have such a cloak. I do. <sighs> okay. This is I, I can't use special abilities through memories. It's not like they would know. They didn't have the special. They didn't have running, so neither do you. Yeah. As Cadme gets her mind back and suddenly goes back to having only two eyes. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. 
Okay. Whew. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I'm not used to being multiple publications at once. Ooh. And also, as we said, fence. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I have good news and bad news. Good news. Kind of what I expected. We're already working on it. Um, Solving the issue. Uh, bad news, I don't know who that is. Um, They had this magic item we found that prevents them from being identified by person. It like, conceals like their gender or height and stuff like that. It makes them look like very different mundane people. I know Secondborn already look very similar already, but this is like this weird advanced kind. <sighs> Do you have any idea why they were stalking them? They kind of look to each other. No, but if they're seeking to do something to the storms, must be why. Were they around when the song was sung? We don't know. Neither of them were in the garden at the time when they were singing. <sighs> well, I think I have an idea. Though I think they noticed us. Have they ever returned? Not since. Yeah, then they probably noticed you. And it's not like they can, you know, deal with you, like, how they would want to, because, you know, you live in the middle of the garden, and you can't really do that. Can these words are not interrupted? Can they? Yeah. Yeah. There's something glitter all around you. Tiny? You need to make me a will save. This is, I have, uh, plus two versus spirits on that, so. You are not blinded. As you suddenly, as you suddenly see a pi as you suddenly see a pixie kind of appear out of nowhere, and then Notice it didn't work on you, which you're covered in the oh, pixie, just, pixie just kind of waves. Hi. Fly, 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 starts, starts flying off into the trees. And he's clear of all the branches, and Cadme suddenly opens up her wings, and a huge gust of wind hits the pixie and <laughs> knocks him spiraling into the canopy. Not into the canopy, but just sort of over the canopy, and as she'll cast, cast gusts of wind. Dry is just watch amused. There are a few more of us here. I've noticed. Yes, your island is very active um, with spirits and fae. And with poisonous frogs, one of the dryads says. Poisonous <laughs> frogs? Yeah, these little ringed frogs. Ringed frogs? Yeah. They've got these orange rings on their back. Amaya nods. Thank you for the warning. When touching one's poisonous. Oh. Good to know. Oh, I, mean, not, not, I mean, not poison, not poisonous to us. Looks to get me, but oh, you know, poisonous, oh. poisonous to all those guys. Oh, that's good. Oh, it was going to be really difficult preventing me from, you know, giving them a head pat, but you know, but now that I know, I'm fine. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to be dealing with that culty problem over the next few days. If you find anything else out, then you can come find me. Um, I. I just want you to rethink about what I said back then. Um, the offer is still open. It says it's time to go. Ah, oh, but I was having fun. Fine. The two dryads walk back to their tree, not really replying to you. <sighs> each of them disappearing into different trees next to each other. Hey! Gabby snaps her fingers in front of the, uh, the gardener. No, no, I'm sorry, I was daydreaming. Yeah, I don't think these are the trees. Maybe you could find some of the other ones. Mm. Uh, what were you looking for again? You said there was a powerful... I was looking for a kind of a spirit in around here. So big now begins a long, wild goose chase of him trying to find other spirits. No, no, it's fine. I mean, this is the fourth one you've showed me, but... um, I think we're good, though. I think I can, I'll come back later. Maybe they're not around at the moment. Yes, thank you for all of your help. But perhaps you should go back to your duties. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing us around. I wish you the most wonderful day. Can we will sort of take his hand and then as she, as she's thanking him, she'll cast heroism on him. Your 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 de your default thank you present. Yep. You'll have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>